Hello, my name is Sang Ho. Welcome to the fourth and the last webinar of this My Market webinar series, which as a rough count have attracted more than 150 registrations to the series. Through this kind of response, we have come to the realization that the demand is out there for more understanding of the product and that more in-depth knowledge is needed by our users. Therefore, we'll be planning to do more of this kind of online training in the future. So please keep an eye in this space. And if you have any questions or any topics that you want us to cover, we would love to hear from you so that we can come up with the right content for the next series. The agenda for today is blending scenarios, which I'll discuss a few scenarios which blending is useful to set the scene. Blending demos, using these scenarios, I'll be demonstrating how it is done in my market. And lastly, blending configuration in which I'll show you the step-by-step -step configuration to enable you to start using the blending function. Okay, let's start with a description of the need for blending. Here is the process flow of a generic mining operation. As you can see, throughout the supply chain, we have at various points, where a decision is required to select a subset of other stockpiles or mine sources to put through the process to make it optimal in terms of tons and grades as these are highlighted by the blue boxes which we'll discuss next as scenario scenario number one mining campaign at any given time, we have a set of requirements for the plant, for the processing plant, which is driven by the upcoming shipment schedule. So in front of us is a large set of mine sources at various quantity and qualities. So the question is, what would be the best blend of mine sources given the usual sets of constraints, tons, grades, accessibility, equipment availability, etc. Here, blending can help. Scenario number two is plant feed. The plant is built to perform best or most optimally under a certain set of constraints or parameters. And on a daily basis, what needs to go through the plant is dictated by what needs to be produced. So the question here is, what is the best blend from the uh, feed stockpile to give us the optimal feed to the plant? And lastly, scenario number three, ship loading. Let's say we need to load a ship today. At the port stockyard is a set of stockpiles at various tons and qualities. So which stockpile should we be using to load the ship? All right. So these are the particulars, the numbers that we need to work with during our demo. So for the first demo, which is to do with mining campaign, Let's say we need to build a ROM stockpile okay, of 100,000 tons for the primary crushing. And furthermore, it's preferably all the mine sources should come from the south pit. All right, keep that in mind. Here's my market. So this is our primary crusher. We need to build a ROM stockpile in this location here. Okay, up 100,000 tons. 
of certain specification. Go to my blending template under blend categories. Under my mining uh, operation, I have a, a blend template called campaign, which I'll show you how to create later. Right click, blend. Okay. So here, everything is set to go. I have a large set of mine sources. Could be as many as hundreds of mine sources active and ready to uh, be uh, blasted and extracted. Each mine source has what we call the available tons and the set of quality. Uh, down below here, I have a set of uh, specification. What I need to do is to build 100,000 tons using linear programming. The algorithm consider all mine sources to be equal. Okay, uh, it will treat every mine sources to be of equal weighting. And I'll be uh, showing you how we use the forced usage and uh, selection here uh, during the demo. All right, so these are our specification, not just one, but many. You're using linear programming technique, it doesn't matter if it's one, two, or 10, or 20 parameters, uh, the performance is the same. All right, so this is our uh, specification. I'm going to blend. Click blend. You'll come up with ah, the best selection for our conditions is as follows if you can get 31%. 31 and bit percent from north 110a and etc the other two from east pit then you get pretty much spot on uh, a bit of warning here iron though it can't get 65 we wanted 65 but it's a bit low but still acceptable still in the range of between the lower limit and the lower warning limit so it's considered okay. All right. So, but remember our specification said we prefer to get uh, from the south pit. Okay. At the moment, nothing is from the south at all. So let me go and try. What if scenario? What if I say, well, east pit is at the moment not accessible. Let me just do it step by step. I say, well, I don't want to select anything from the east, from east pit. All right, just try it and see what happened. Blend. Well, yes. Now you have more warnings. You have more warnings. Yeah, now phosphate now is now in warning. However, I still don't get anything from south at all. Okay, it's all come from north pit. All right. So let's do it again. So we can. Uh, treat this as a what if scenario. What if I do this? What if I do that? So let me go back to my criteria. And then remember now, we want to select everything from the south. I notice here I have six mine sources available, ready to be uh, worked on in the south pit. So what do I do? Instead of one by one, ticking and unticking, I do this right click, exclude meaning Deselect everything, and then I select six stock paths from the south to see if it gives me the answer. Yes, indeed, still a bit of warning, but I can get it. I can get 100,000 tons of material from these three mine sources in the south, and the blend result is quite acceptable. Let me show you uh, another uh, what if scenario. But before I do that, let me just do a screen capture so we can compare the result a bit later. So this is the blend. Oh, try again. This is the blend so far. I've got what I want from the south pit, yeah? 
go back to my blend criteria now and I say, well, uh, because phosphate and manganese is uh, very stable, okay? It doesn't add any uh, uh, value to my blend. So I'm going to deselect that and do a blend. Yes? Okay. So what does that tell us? If I compare this and the previous one, in fact, the outcome is almost identical. By and large, it is the same blend. So that will indicate that my phosphate and uh, manganese, is, you know, they didn't really uh, contribute to the optimization uh, function. All right. So that is one lending scenario. I've demonstrated the uh, how you start the blend, how you can go back and forth and uh, select a different criteria, uh, etc. So I'll be using, I'll be doing more of this uh, what if scenario next in the next demo. All right. So given that, I have a set of results, which is I can uh, give it to my uh, um, uh, operator. Uh, you need to get something like 44% from this one source, 43% from this source, and then 12 and a bit percent, 30% from this one source. And that will be sufficient for them to work on for the next you know, uh, few days to build a stockpile of 100,000 tons of the quality that I expect. Okay. Next. Uh, let me go back to our PowerPoint to see what the numbers are. The particulars for this is blending at port. Let's say we have a shipment that is due next week to pick up 100,000 tons of LUM product. We talk about iron ore here. And the expected specifications are the, the, the default uh, LUM grades. We are not talking about a particular shipment yet. So what would be my best blend? What would be my blend recipe? Again, I have set up a blend template for the port. In fact, I have set up a couple. Lump shipment, right click, blend. Okay, using the same step, I'll do a first blend without any selection. Blend. Ah. Mine market said, well, the best blend is if you get 42 and a bit percent from, okay, stop power number three, and 57 and a half percent coming from stop power number seven. That would be your uh, best blend. All right. But I said, well, I, for example, I don't really want to get everything from stop power number seven. Let's assume that for some reason, I only want to force the algorithm to use only 40%, 40,000 tons from stop power number seven, and I leave the rest unchanged. What would happen? Yes, well, you can do it, but now you need stop power number one, because uh, otherwise you cannot get 100,000 tons that satisfy your target specification. All right. Well, if that is what I want, that's fine. All right. Uh, but I don't like uh, the numbers. I want to round it up to, you know, nice and neat. So let's say at the moment it's select 16,877 tons from one and then 43 and a bit from three. So let me go back there and say, what if, what if I force that to use 20,000 tons? And then number three, I want to use 40,000 tons. Okay, it's manual process, but I can work out very quickly. That will give me 100,000 tons. If I now do blend, yes, uh, the, the blend result would have been slightly different, but I'm okay with that. Why do I do that? Because then I can give the, my ship loader the instructions 
you're doing 244 or 122. In other words, as you load the ship, you you load one bucket from stop on number one and two buckets from stop on number three and then two from number seven. Just going one, two, two, one, two, two. That will be the recipe for this uh, operation. Uh, we have now illustrated the various operations okay, uh, for you to uh, specify your what if scenario. What if I want to use a force? I want to force this stockpile to be uh, 40,000 tons to be unloaded. Uh, what if I don't want this uh, silic, phosphate, and manganese? All right. So that concludes our demo of the use of blending. Next is how do we configure those blending template? All right. So let me take you through the step by step in the configuration. First of all, we need to configure what we call the specification template, which is to do with quality. And then we put it together in a blend template. All right. The specification template is in the quality menu. And the target here is to create a new specification called plant feed. Okay, quality menu under specification templates. Under blending, I have currently ROM build and campaign. Under product, I have fines and lumps. Okay, so let me create a new specification called uh, plant fit. No, uh, okay, here I can drag my quality in. For example, here, uh, I want iron to be 65%, 65% with a minimum 64, etc., etc., et cetera, yeah? But I have a better way of doing that. Given that I have a set of specific specification called ROM build or campaign, I can use it as my starting point. So I'll do that instead. So let me do a refresh to cancel out what I did. And I can start with my campaign. Duplicate. And my new specification is called plant feed. And of course, here is where I can change my uh, target, my min and my max. Okay, so let's say we are okay with that. But of course, in reality though, in real life, you would change that to suit. Next is to create a blending template uh, in the supply chain menu under blend category option. Uh, I have at the moment two categories. One is for the mine, one for the port. Let me create a new one new blend category called plant feed or plant and then in plant i created a new blend template called plant feed right so what do i consider as my sources my source stopper okay i open my, up my supply chain Uh, so in front of my plan is my coastal stockpile, and further upstream I have my ROM stockpile, and even further that than that I have my mine sources, yeah, or the pit. Now here I want to tell my market that at any one time I'm going to use a uh, coastal stockpile first because that is the closest stockpile to the plant, so I give it a, a, a ranking factor of five. And you, if I can't find enough material from my coastal stockpile, I'll use uh, my ROM. And then I'll use 
my my sources. Now the numbers here, the numbers one, two, three, four, five, etc. Uh, it doesn't have any meaning. It's just that a three is higher than a one. It doesn't mean that it's three times as more suitable. Okay, a five doesn't mean that is five times as suitable. It's just that a five is higher weighting, therefore it will be used before a three, and a three before one. Okay, so this is my uh, so-called source stopper. Now here is the specification. What specification do we want to blend? Okay, we go back to our quality menu. The specification template that we just created called plant fit i'm going to drag under here all right and again i don't want to play with my uh, waiting here but i could put always select go for my iron first for example and then the rest i can put a weighting factors for each of these analogs and by default i'm going to use 10,000 ton okay for every every day I need to put 10,000 tons through, and this is what I do at the beginning of the day. I'm going to save that, and I close everything. Now, go back to my supply chain now, and I'm going to do my blending. Plant feed, right click, blend. Okay, the operation is as usual. I've got a set of my sources. I set up uh, source stop piles. I've got my specification. I do a blend. All right. So it will call for 9,000 tons from core source stop pile. And then it needs a bit of help from the mine source from North Pit. Why is that so? If we look closely, you know, our core source stop pile is not quite. Um, uh, do it. So coastal stockpile. Uh, let's check. My iron should be 65, and the minimum is 64. But coastal stockpile, my current iron content is 63 in a bit. So I can I cannot satisfy my uh, requirement. So it will go and look for something of higher than 65, I suppose, which it finds somewhere in here. Look, it finds somewhere in here. Anything that's 65 and a bit, blend that with 63.9, uh, give me the result of uh, 64, uh, 64, which is right on my uh, target minimum. All right. So through these um, uh, demonstrations, we have now pretty much demonstrated everything that uh, blending offers. As a last demo, I would like to show you how to blend for uh, a ship. Okay, let's say the ship, we have a ship coming today to pick up certain tonnage of fines and lump. So I open up my shipping explorer. And what we have here. Uh, today is the 11th of June. One that hasn't been loaded yet is supposed to come at uh, on the 8th of June. Yeah. But it hasn't come yet. It, it didn't come until today. So I'm going to open it up. And then I say, well, it arrived this morning. So arrive this morning at about 10 o'clock. Okay, save away. And what does it require? It require um, um, some some fines and some lump product. How much of lump? Uh, 60,000 tons of lump and 60,000 tons of fines. So let's say, and if I do now right click, say blend, it would then take the specification from the contract that 
uh, this shipment is associated with, which is here. And then it would then say, well, I've got in front of me this uh, set of stockpiles at the stockyard. But of course, I don't want fine because I'm blending full lump at the moment. So I can do this. I, instead of selecting, you know, that, that, that uh, tick and then tick, I can say, all I want to see is lump product. All right. And then I say blend. Ah, I said, well, the analyzed values on the stockpiles are too extreme for the specification, okay, manganese. So if I look at my manganese requirement here, the contract said I need 0.1% of manganese, well, target, but anywhere from 0.08 to 0.12 is okay. Looking at my manganese here, everything is so low. So obviously, 0.02, I cannot satisfy that. That's why this uh, warning comes up. I have either one or two ways because uh, what they're asking for is high manganese and we give them uh, less, which is good for them anyway. So I'm going to say, well, I could either do that. That's one option and blend. Okay, so manganese file obviously, because what they ask for is about 0 0.08, but we give them 0 0.02, which is better for them. Uh, I'm going to go back. The second option is I can change my, my target, my specification here. My minimum is zero, okay? Then it will do as well. In this case, it is warning, not fail, not red. Okay, so what else can we do? Using the technique that we've learned uh, so far, that is 861 ton. Well, it's not worth my repositioning repositioning of my ship loader and my uh, uh, loading process. I'm going to make it yeah, at least 1,000 ton up here. That stop on number five. Stop on number five, I want to load a thousand ton, and then it will obey my instructions. All right, so from here, I can, of course, do the usual. I can adjust my tonnage to be a round figure, which I'll do. Let's say I make it uh, 40 and then uh, make up the rest to make 60,000 ton. So I'll make 40. 43, number three, so make it 40,000 tons. Plus one is 41, and then I have 19 left, isn't it? No, tell you what, I'm going to make it nothing here, but 20 here to see whether I can get my, uh, my blend okay. Well, it's still okay. Now, this is a much simpler operation. All I give the, the loader is you do four two okay four bucket two bucket or two one so two bucket from stop out three one from number seven just keep doing that until you get sixty thousand done all right so i can then save my result which will go into my history i'd like to thank you for your attendance today and we trust that through this series of webinars you found something useful and if you need to explore uh, any of the functionality of my market further please drop me an email mm -hmm.